The hammerhead has an incredible 360-degree vision that's called binocular. This creature's eyes are tilted forward, and their field of vision overlaps. The wobegong means shaggy beard in an Australian Aboriginal language, and just one look at this underwater inhabitant can explain the name choice. The viper dogfish knows how to create its own light in the deep ocean pitch-dark waters. The animal has needle-like teeth and extendable jaws. This allows it to feed on prey half its size. Now, at first sight, all these creatures have nothing in common whatsoever. But in reality, all of them are sharks. There are more than 500 shark species in the world, and lots of them don't look as if they're related. The most fearsome predators in the ocean, sharks have been around for more than 400 million years. They have adapted to all kinds of tough conditions. Now, some of them can live in freshwater, rivers, and lakes. These creatures vary in size, from as small as a human hand to 40-foot-long whale sharks. Now, most people would probably feel more comfortable without sharks lurking in the ocean depths. But few of them know that the disappearance of sharks would turn into a disaster for our planet. Imagine waking up in the world without these apex predators. If you're a surfer, you wouldn't have to scan the water for a shark's infamous triangular fin. If you're a regular beachgoer, you wouldn't have to be on your toes all the time, ready to sprint toward the shore once you hear a lifeguard's whistle. Movie makers would be confused. They'd have to set off in search of a new villain. But the truth is, sharks aren't as bad as they're pictured. Not all of them are large, torpedo-shaped creatures with sharp teeth. For example, the basking shark has small teeth, and it doesn't even use them for feeding. The horned shark's teeth are molar-like and help the animal to crush its hard-shelled prey. And how can a tiny 8-inch long deep-water dogfish harm you? Unlike what lots of people think, humans aren't sharks' favorite meal. Usually, we just get mistaken for similar-sized dolphins and seals. Most shark species prefer fish, squid, and clams. Hey, come to think of it, so do I! Mmm, calamari! Some are filter feeders. It means they get food by filtering seawater through their gills or mouth. Anyway, back to the world without sharks. Big shark species are at the top of the ocean food chain. They hunt smaller fish, for example, tuna. Those in turn eat even smaller sea inhabitants, mostly bottom-feeding species that live off algae. If sharks disappeared, it would totally mess up the entire food chain. Without sharks to control the fish population, the smallest algae eaters would soon be swallowed up by predators. No bottom feeders, and algae would grow wild. Along with bacteria, they would move to coral reefs. Corals wouldn't be able to photosynthesize. Sunlight they use to get nutrients from the water and carbon dioxide wouldn't reach them. Reefs would fade away, leaving behind skeletons that would later turn into limestone. It would lead to many marine species going extinct. Algae would also clog up fish gills and pollute water and seafood. Shark remains are an important food source for lots of marine inhabitants. For example, orcas, other sharks, and even octopuses. Without these remains, these species would be at risk of starvation. Or let's say tiger sharks. They live in seagrass meadows and prevent turtles from overgrazing the area. If sharks weren't on the lookout, all this underwater vegetation would be gone in no time. And that would create a huge problem. Scientists claim that 50 to 80 percent of Earth's oxygen is produced in the ocean by plankton. That's algae, drifting plants, and some kinds of bacteria. Normally, sharks feed on fish that gobble down ocean generating plankton. No sharks, and there might be a serious shortage of oxygen in the world. Little fish would thrive, but only at first. If there were no sharks, injured and sick fish, their most common prey, would unbalance the schools they live in. This would cause nothing but chaos. Plus, fish left without control would eat everything they see – little shrimps, plankton, and other microorganisms. Soon, all of this would be gone, and fish would eventually starve. It would affect not only the world's ecosystem, but also the economy, like it happened once in North Carolina. Great white sharks were overfished there and it allowed the ray population to grow. It resulted in hundreds of hungry rays eating all the bay scallops. The local fishery had to close. When there were no more scallops, rays moved on to other shelled sea creatures. The disappearance of sharks would also harm ecotourism. 
For example, in the Bahamas, just one reef shark brings about $250,000 over its lifetime. Divers pay this money to see the creature in its natural environment. One living whale shark brings Belize $2 million during its lifetime. Besides, if there were no sharks, we would never know how amazing these creatures are. <laughs> see for yourself. Sharks don't have bones. Their skeletons are made of cartilage, just like some parts of your ears and your nose tip. Cartilage is way lighter than real bones. Plus, sharks' liver are filled with oils. That's what helps them to be so buoyant. From afar, sharks' skin may seem to be as smooth as that of dolphins. But in reality, it resembles sandpaper. It's made up of teeny teeth-like scales. They point toward the tail and reduce water friction when sharks swim. Even though sharks don't have bones, their bodies can't fossilize. As these predators age, they store calcium in their skeletons to make them stronger. That's why million-year-old shark jaws feel as heavy and solid as bones. Sharks have small black spots near their eyes, nose, and mouth. They allow these animals to sense electromagnetic fields and temperature changes in the ocean. Most shark species have an amazing night vision. Even cooler, they can see colors. They have special reflective tissue at the back of their eyes, which helps them see perfectly with little light. Now, you might be able to tell a shark's age by counting the rings on its vertebrae. Each vertebra has pairs of semi-transparent and non-transparent bands. If a vertebra has 10 band pairs, the shark is 10 years old. Such a count is not always correct, but still. The great white shark's bite is no joke. A 21-foot-long creature can produce a force of more than 4,000 pounds per one square inch. It means the fish's jaws are four times more powerful than those of a lion or tiger. And you, with your bite force of 150 to 200 pounds per square inch, aren't even in the running. Sharks can heat their eyes thanks to a special retina. It helps them to have a better resolution of everything they see around and detect their prey. Some bottom-dwelling shark species, for example nurse or angel sharks, have a special opening behind their eyes. It supplies oxygen directly to their brain and eyes. Sharks use this organ when they're resting at the seafloor or eating. But most shark species have to swim all the time to pump water over their gills. Sharks live in all oceans on the planet. But several species feel great in fresh water. Bull sharks, for example, can be found in tropical rivers. They've adapted and can now live in both fresh and salt water. And river sharks, true to their name, swim in the rivers of New Guinea, Australia, and South Asia. The number of teeth may vary from species to species, but most sharks have more than 15 rows of them in each jaw. One line after another, they go from the largest and most functional up front to the smaller and less powerful in the back. A shark can have as many as 35,000 cavity-resistant teeth in a lifetime. Now, you, as a human, can shift only your lower jaw. But a shark can move both its upper and lower jaws. It allows the creature to have a better grip while hunting. Sharks not only smell things exceptionally well, their hearing is excellent too. They can spot their prey from 3,000 feet away because they hear low-frequency sounds. The predators will easily recognize the sounds made by a fish's contracting muscle tissue. Sharks are slow-growing species, and they don't breed often. It makes them extremely vulnerable. People had better protect these creatures rather than fear them. Oh, and finally, when you go to the casino poker tables, be wary of one more species, the card shark. If you're not careful, he'll take all your money.